Good afternoon, brethren. Gonna, I'm at my word. And it took me a little while to get to this, but uh, enough is enough, and I'm going to do this. Um, get your authorized version of the scriptures. This is not going to be anything too deep uh, scripturally. Uh, we, we do scripture here, that's what we're about, but um, this is a warning to you brethren, to any of you actually, any of you, even my <laughs> blessed enemies, uh, this is a warning to you about these disgusting, vile, rank, putrid, vomitous thieves. You're expecting me to say free gracers, aren't you? <laughs> That's what free gracers are. But actually, I'm not, we're not talking about those devils today. We're talking about a totally different class of devils, even though they're very similar. See, the other one wants to steal life from you. These scammers who we are going to be addressing today, they want to take your substance from you. Okay? One wants to see you in hell. The other wants to see you destitute on earth talking about these disgusting, wretched scammers, okay, and as I alluded to yesterday, oh, and by the way, thank you for any of you brethren who prayed for your servant. I was having a very bad day health-wise yesterday, and you got to see a little of it, how it works, but, um, so thank you, but today is the 23rd, of course, we read the uh, 23rd proverb. But in Psalm 55, verse 21, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Oh, flattery, flattery. And the scriptures tell us that the Lord will cut off all flattering lips, okay? All right. There is one thing of being genuine in affection, okay? There's another thing when you try to, you know, get a little brown on your nose trying to flatter someone as to gain a coercive aspect in, a, in uh, interaction. That sounded pretty technical. I know that. But in Proverbs 23, now, check this out. Uh, I'm sure, <laughs> like, I'm sure several of you already knew this about, like, OBS, which I'm on. You're going to see this. Um, I recently discovered uh, how to do, I am not uh, very well um, inclined. What's the number I need? 726. I'm not really inclined to these things here. I really don't know what I'm doing. There we go. But I figured this out. And this is good, because this is just, uh, you're going to see. Check this out. All right? Here we go. <laughs> yeah, you see that right away. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Let me see. Uh, which one? Um, let me see. Which was the one that started it? Uh, ah, you can see my response. <laughs> Let me see. What is this? Okay, here's the first one. Here's the one that began it all. Okay, and this came. Now this this is a scammer. This is something that these scammers will do. They will. Now you see this. Uh, I'm sure this is an actual living, uh, breathing person, spirit, soul, and body. I don't know. It's definitely. This is not who is sending me the. Who has sent me these emails? Okay, whoever this is. Oh man, nice. And as you can see, it's a woman. In military, but uh, is that the very first thing of it that started? Um, I, I don't think it is. Let me see. Let me see. And then here's you're seeing my response to her. Here, okay, here's where it began, okay? Now, the email that came to me from this scamming devil who, uh, and what these are is, they will come to you with flattery and say, oh, I'm happy, happy to have you as a friend, blah, 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 blah. And then eventually they will lead into something like, I'm in a foreign nation and I have all this money, but the bank system in that country is blah, blah, blah. So can I put <laughs> this big amount of money into your account? 
Okay? Let me show you this. And here's the email. Now, these are YouTube. They used to call them something else. Now they call them sock accounts where they have these emails that they create. Uh, and it is a Gmail account, but, you know, you can create a Gmail account and just ignore it or whatever, okay? And I told you, you wicked devils, I was going to do this, and I'm a man of my word, okay? You can go ahead and call me for doxing. I don't care. You are an evil devil trying to steal from people. And you guys and your wicked devices needs to be exposed, okay? And I'll take whatever comes. I got a backup channel anyway. All right, so the the email that was sent to me by this lying devil was this kept uh, here. You can you can see it. You can see it. Hello, my friend. I'm happy to have you here by email. First of all, I want to express myself to you. My name is Captain uh, Captain Vera Will Davis. I was born on the 10th of February, 1994, at Baptist Hospital of Arizona. I started A and A Children Academy at six, and later on continued from Calvary Baptist Church Schools. You're gonna see this. This is this is interesting. I was very playful at school, and it affected my academic work. I joined the military academy at the age of 16. This is a woman, supposedly. Okay. I was in boarding school, so my parents visited me once in a while. I didn't spend much time at home. My mom was a head teacher and dad was in the medical field and my and my both parents are late now. Okay? I actually believe that this is like um if any of you heard of the Nigerian scam kind of thing. I mean, we all make mistakes in our grammar when we're typing and stuff like this, but this is this is pretty this is pretty blatant which leads me to believe either one that it's purposeful to make it look as if they are not um, well read in their uh, grammar or they actually are okay or they actually are one of the two okay due to the nature of my job I have been to so many countries of the world and I have met with different personalities from different countries of the world. That is why I love my job. I am a E6 staff captain, SCG. I also act as a platoon chief in the absent of absence of the captain first class. I will please me, it will please me to let you know that I'm happy having you as a friend. Waiting uh, to hear from you and really want to know more about you. Captain Vera Will, okay? And my response, you can see, this is my initial response. You can see my response. And what the, has happened before in the past, that, and which was always a dead giveaway. And I think I mentioned this once in a previous video. It's like, hello, dear. Hello, dear. But my wife doesn't even call me dear, okay? Dead giveaway that you're dealing with a scammer. Now, nowadays, this could very well be AI artificial intelligence, okay? With the, you know, with the co-pilot thing that they threw on here with an update. You can see it there, right there, uh, which is an artificial intelligent chat bot. If you look into those things, woohoo, okay? <laughs> woohoo, and you never know with the uh, YouTube either anymore, whether or not you're actually speaking to or, you know, typing with an actual person, spirit, soul, and body. You don't know. So this could very well be AI. This very well could be. But regardless, this was my response, okay? At least you didn't call me dear. Because <laughs> that was a dead giveaway. It's like, hello, dear. It's like, oh, you scamming devil, get away. But, you know, just in case thereof, just in case thereof, it was something like, I was like, right away, I was like, come on, dude. But just in case it were, forgive my suspicions. Are you going to bring up something how you got all this money and want to put it in my bank account? Which is something that they do, okay? I've encountered that on many occasions. Many occasions where it's like, I got all this money. It's like, dude, you go to hell. You can go to hell. Wicked devil. I don't know why anyone would fall for that, 
But, you know, in an age where money is sparse and people are, you know, barely scraping by, and then here comes this gorgeous woman or this gorgeous man, whatever, whoever you are, whoever they target. And it's like this, um, you know the saying, if it's too good to be true, it usually isn't. Forgive me, your email looks very similar in structure and in rhetoric to that of a scammer. With that said, let's reason together, you and I. And I gave the link to the salvation video that the Lord gave me. Okay? All right. Now, now, let me see. Here's, okay. Now, I gave that response. Okay. Then they sent this through another email, uh, through another email, because, okay, see that one, okay, this one here, all right, and then check this out, all right, okay, Captain, see this one, Captain at Gmail, okay, and then this one, it says it was the, no, no, wait, wait, I'm getting ahead of myself here, yeah, where am I the one with the pictures? Okay. Same one, same email, Captain Vera uh, A. Whaling or whatever. Now, this is the one that they sent me after my initial response of giving them the video. Okay? My response was totally disregarded. Totally disregarded. Okay? And then they send these pictures. Now, this is after I sent the video of let us reason together. I've done that before on many occasions. And what happens is, which also gives me to believe this might be AI, is that the, my response was disregarded, even ignored, because they have a set script. So they send these pictures, and I, whoever this really is, I don't know. Like I said, this could be AI uh, image generation. You look on Google, AI image generation, just look that up in your own time. They can be extraordinarily realistic. I mean, shockingly realistic. Uh, horrifically realistic. So that could be AI. But here's their response. Okay. Don't have, look at me. I don't care who you are. Don't click any of their links. Don't click and download those pictures. Don't do nothing. Don't. Okay? Don't. Hello, my friend. How are you doing today? I'm sorry for the late reply to your email. So it registered that I replied, but they didn't what was replied to them, they didn't, it's like, oh, I'm sorry. It, it was, you know, like, oh, you sent me that, thank you for that. No, no. I was very busy with my job. I thank you for your response to my mail and how you expressed yourself. That's a generic response. I'm happy to know you this way. Know me what way? Uh -huh. Well, I'm a woman of honor. And it will please me to establish a good relationship with you because you sound so nice and interesting. Hey, 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 hey there, sweetie pie. Who <laughs> slept with my annoying voice? Do I? <laughs> Do I sound nice and interesting to you, devil? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's, that's a good one. Okay. <clears throat> Sincerely. <laughs> okay. Sincerely speaking, I'm a single lady. You ain't no lady. I have never married, and I choose you as a friend because I like you. Really? Huh? Okay. Flattery. Flattery. Although we're far from each other, let me just tell you all about me so that you'll understand me much better. I'm an orphan. My both parents died in a car accident when I was little. And I'm the only survivor in my family and they took me 
to an orphanage home under the USA government, a late Catholic priest named Father Patrick, generic, picked me up from orphanage home and took me as his daughter. Then I grew up there and at the... Now, now to have you right away notice the contradiction between the previous email and this one. Okay, this, this, okay, this could be AI or this could be someone who is just an absolute idiot. Okay, if this is actually a person doing this, number one, the Lord rebuke you and you, you got a hot bed right waiting for you. You, this is evil. Okay, now also granted, most people I would hope would have enough common sense to be like, okay, you just totally said the complete opposite of your other email that you sent me, okay? All right. Then I grew up there, and at the age of 16 years, I joined the military academy where I joined the army till this day, okay? Now, that coincides with the previous. I have been to some countries like Afghanistan, South Sudan, and Yemen for a peacekeeping mission under the United Nations. I'm in Syria, Damascus now. And this is my second mission here in Syria, Damascus. So after going through your email, I developed a kind interest in you because I saw you as a good man with a good heart. <laughs> after the even email I sent. Does that mean that they saw the video? I doubt that highly. Okay, I doubt that highly. These are generic responses, okay? And look at the flattering nature of them. Okay, is this AI? I don't know. Is this a person? I don't know. If it's AI, uh, if you've dealt at all with any AI, um, it, it has the attention span of a gnat, much like us persons do. But if this is a, a man, you know, mankind, they're pretty stupid to begin with. Okay? I would like to know more uh, about you so that we'll understand each other very well and have much love and trust for each other. I'll stop here for now and wait for your reply. Yours sincerely, Captain Vera Will Davis. Okay? And then my response to this was... Um, uh, where was my response? Uh, did I respond to this one? or Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, here's my response. <laughs> you know what? You lying filth. This is my response. I think I'm going to make a YouTube video today, and I didn't that day, showing your emails and exposing your tactics and wicked schemes to steal from people. The Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on your wretched soul. Okay? That was my response to this one, okay? <laughs> Why they're not in the same bracket, I... Not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, and I'm not. You don't don't click on any of that. And this one, we already went through with what? Okay, you already saw this one. Okay. And the, yes, this was my response to to this one. Okay. <laughs> In Proverbs chapter twenty three. In Proverbs. Chapter 23, verse 5 on to verse 9. Wilt thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle toward heaven. What riches? Well, hey, right? Look, look. I mean, some lonely individual who doesn't have enough sense that God gave a stuffed yak, okay? Uh, see a picture like that? Oh, they, they download the things on their pictures. And actually, when you look at them, I, I, I really think that these are computer-generated gen images. I really do. But, you know, someone can come across this and being all lonely and whatnot and fall for it. And then they get a rapport going back, and then they they fall for something, and then they have their identity stolen, and all this stuff, okay? Eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye, neither desire thou his dainty meats. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. 
The only genuine aspect of something like this is that they are genuinely looking to rob you, to steal from you, okay? To cause you harm, to take from you, okay? That's the only thing that they have any genuine thing about, okay? And... The morsel which thou, ha thou hast eaten shalt thou vomit up, and lose thy sweet words. Verse 9. Speak not in the ears of a fool, for he will despise the wisdom of thy words. Okay? My first response is like, hey, you look like a scammer, but just in case, just in case, I have had actual correspondence with a person, spiritual and body, from Africa. From Japan. From, not, no, it wasn't from China. What's the other one? Um, uh, Korea. Okay. The way that they type their rhetoric and stuff like that, their dialect in typing is a little different from ours. Okay. And when you study certain things that teach you how to examine this kind of stuff, okay, and plus the fact that their responses were uh, based off of the responses given, you know, you know, just like more likely than not, I was dealing with an actual person's spiritual body, okay? So responding to these is like a trigger effect. They say a generic statement acknowledging at least that you simply responded, but the contents they don't get into, okay? Now, now you saw that, and, and again, and again, let me, there's the email. There's the email. Okay, whoever this is, whatever this is, they are disingenuous, they are deceptive, they have criminal intent. Okay, Brad, you're judging. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I got a perfect standard, therefore I'm judging, okay? I've encountered this before. This is dangerous, okay? Now, now, here's another one I want to get at. All right. Oh, right away you see my response to this individual. The Lord rebuke you, you filthy devil. Get thee hence Satan. Okay? Here's the, and the, these, these guys, okay. These guys. Going after covetousness. Let me tell you, okay? Let me tell you. Right now, at the time of uploading this video, there are something like 697 subscribers to the channel that the Lord gave me, okay? All right? I understand that a majority of the subscribers are probably not saints. I understand that the majority of the subscribers are are people who dislike what comes from this channel. I understand that, okay? There are actual genuine saints, whatever. And to all who subscribe, thank you. Even to you, my enemies, thank you. Okay? All right? Thank you. Seriously. I don't... Look at me. I don't want a lot of subscribers. I don't. I, I'm, I'm, thank you. Thank you for those of you who do subscribe to the channel that the Lord gave me. Thank you. Okay? I don't want a lot of subscribers to the channel that the Lord God gave me. Okay? I don't want a thousand subscribers. Okay? I get uncomfortable. I'm actually uncomfortable with the amount that I have now. Excuse me. That, have, that is there now. I am. That, that gets intimidating to me. I don't want, I don't want a thousand subscribers. Okay? I don't want 50,000 subscribers. God forbid, dude! We're saints. We're the church of the living God. Okay? We're small and despised. Okay? All right, when you start getting into that kind of demographic, 
Okay, it affects, I mean, look at some of these dudes who got all these. And also, too, I haven't seen and encountered people boasting about their subscribers. It's like, well, hey, I've got more. It becomes an issue of pride. And see, these, okay, Ahmed, Ahmed Elim Elmir. Web Winger 3 at brightwinger whatever dot com. I'm exposing your email. Yes, I am. Leave me alone. Have you thought about how many more people could find your videos if they were easier to discover? <laughs> I'm a saint. This is what this is what we do here. The authorized version of the scriptures. This is what we base things on. This is what this is about. Okay? The authorized version of the scriptures is not popular with the world. Okay? There is this lovely thing called the YouTube algorithm, which... <laughs> which provoke... Which, oh, yeah, provokes. Which promotes fleshly things. Okay? Have you ever wondered why it's easier to find something that is softcore porn here on YouTube rather than to find something that is actually godly? Huh? Have you ever wondered? Okay. Uh, there's a reason why the videos are not easy to be discovered. They can be discovered, yes. I mean, now, uh, nowadays, you put in uh, Countable, and then it will come up KJV, and you press the button, and then you got all these idiots, you know, who still, after a couple of years, got videos, and they like, well, who is this, okay? But it's at least whatever, okay? But see, here's the thing. The Lord is the one who does the guiding, okay? The Lord is the one who is in charge here, not me. You find a video, okay? Have you ever considered maybe the Lord wanted you to find it? All right? Okay? And these so-called Christians. Yeah, well, no, excuse me. They are Christians who have monetization on your videos. <laughs> Getting money from Google. Oh, it's only, it's only not even a dollar. You're still getting money from a Jesuit-controlled conglomerate. Who do you think runs this place? Who do you think runs the media there, boy? Freemasons, who controls them? The Jesuit order. I don't want a lot of subscribers. I don't. I don't. I've seen what the numbers could do to people. I've encountered uh, what, you know, well, you only, you don't even have this many subscribers, blah, 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 blah. What's been sent to you? What, what's, what's being said to you? Okay? I don't want it. And these come in like strings. Like, for a while, they'll come, and then they'll go away. Hopefully, this will, you know, scare you devils off. Let's continue. Have you thought about how many more people could find your videos if they were easier to discover? I noticed that your light, latest videos sparked some deep discussions, but with an average of just 73 views. There's room for growth. That means 73 people... Maybe. <laughs> you know, you never know with the uh, bots and AI, but okay. That's 73 people who heard something. I'm happy with that. I'm content with that. This whole thing, if one person, spirit, soul, and body, one person is given truth, if one person is pricked in the heart, if one person has something that where they may grow thereby if one person is reached then it has been worth it there has been at least one person reached so the labor has not been in vain see you going after my covetousness 
You're going after my greed. And I'm not saying I'm covetous or greedy. But this is what they're doing. See, think of how much more spectacular you will be if people can... Ah, see, the glamour and the glamour. That's what they're offering. I don't want it! Optimizing your video titles and descriptions can make a big difference in getting more eyes on your great content. A little brown on your nose there, pal, if this is, even is a man. With keywords that truly match what viewers are searching for, you can turn those discussions into bigger conversations. Now, the key, the tag thing I learned about, and that helps because the Lord has given your servant quite a few videos. That's just, I mean, look at the number. If YouTube isn't all of a sudden taking some down from like five years ago, they do crazy stuff like that. But the tag thing I started doing because, you know, people have asked me questions in emails and it's like, I did a video on that. Where is it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So the tag thing helps. You can, in the search thing, if you're on a laptop or a computer, you can put in, like, for example, put in free grace. And then the with the hashtag thing, all the videos will come up. Or Trinity, the, the I don't have my garbage can here. But the Trinity or else I'd spit. You know, you know, put that in. Or Godhead or, or Repentance or whatever. I've started doing that for ease to find these videos, okay? Because there have been a lot of videos or a lot of questions that people have asked. It's like, I've done a, you know, the Lord gave me a video on that. Where, where is it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And there are older videos before I started doing the hashtag thing that's like, I was like, what's this one about? Okay. And long ago, I stopped putting things in the description, but looking for relevant scripture for the thing of the video. Okay. Would you like to get a free SEO optimization for your latest videos, title, description, and tags? Let me know if you're interested. Ahmed Elmir, CEO, YouTube, whatever. Reply with unsubscribe if you wish to stop receiving future emails from us. You got to be careful with that. There is a way you can unsubscribe, but also be aware that they could trick you with that. Be aware of that, okay? Now, and I may I made my oh yeah, I made myself quite clear in my response. And that was on the 17th that that happened. But you know what these guys do? On my channel, I have two emails. Here's my other email. Okay? Oh, what is this? What is this? Inbox. Didn't I? Um, yeah, yeah. See right here. I had to give uh, for Windows. I thought I put that. I put that up. I thought I. I thought I. Uh, I thought I. I thought I put that up here. But what happened was that they came to the my other email. Uh, least of all fellowship here. Uh, I, I thought I put it up here, but anyway, anyway, okay. But apparently not. What, but what happened was the same guy, the same thing came to my other email, Least of All Fellowship, and Least of All Fellowship is its own thing, Least of All Fellowship. And it's like, addressed to Accountable KJV, okay? And I thought, I could have swore, I could have swore I took it out of there to show you, but... Okay. Anyway. Anyway. That's going to be it for this little video. Just a short little video. I told these devils I was going to do it. And I'm a man of my word. Okay. All right. Yeah, the other one was like some uh, in Google Play. Uh, it, it was a Google Play thing. And, of course, uh, if any of you have Google devices like I do, okay, um, you can, you, there are uh, scam, virus, um, deceptive, malware in Google Play even, okay? But, um, but yeah, it's like, okay, 
You said that to me on the main email, so I'm going to come now and try to get your attention on your other email, least of all fellowship, okay? <laughs> and hey, my two emails are available on the videos, especially in this one. You're going to see it in the description box, okay? People, you need to be aware of these things, okay? This is just, I have encountered stuff like this for quite a while. And the, and the guys, especially the guys who like, grow your channel. Grow. I don't want to. Okay. If the channel that the Lord gave me grows into anything, it's not because of anything I'm doing. Okay. I, get, get this through your head, you wicked devils. I don't want thousands of subscribers. Okay, I get intimidated with the amount I have right now. It's not about me. It's about the scriptures. It's about God, my Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, and reaching that one, that one, whoever you are. That's what this is about. It isn't about me. Okay, it isn't about me so I can have two properties or three, a hundred cars, and have all kinds of money. Okay? That's not what this is about. This isn't my ministry. It's not. Do you understand? Do you understand? This isn't about me. It's about the Lord Jesus Christ and His Word. His perfect, inerrant, given by inspiration, Word of God, the authorized version. That's what this is about. I have nothing to do with it other than being a mouthpiece. I don't want to be well known. I want my father to be glorified. That's what it's about. Period. Do you understand? Now, I don't know because, yeah, okay, I admit to you, yeah, I showed you emails. I told you I was going to do it. You guys are devils come around trying to steal from people. And here, grow your channel, grow your channel. Or like, buy some... Uh, no! No. I don't know how long this will be up. I don't know if I'll be... Ta or uh, get a, what is it, a strike for this. If I get a strike for this video, I will go to the backup channel. So, so you brethren will know, okay? But uh, yeah, beware of these things. There are all kinds of people out there trying to steal from you. You got uh, Christianity trying to steal uh, eternal life from you by promising you a lie. And you got these guys trying to steal the rug right from out under you. See, the problem is, you think that I'm like you. You think that I want to be, you know, all well known. You think that I, you think that I want to be like that one guy from the Northeast who's got this big cult following. I don't want that. I never did. I never did, and I never will. This is what this is about. The authorized version of the scriptures. My Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, God Almighty. Okay? It's not about me. Never has been and never will be. You're barking up the wrong tree. If you guys keep after me with this, I'll do another one of these. Depending on how this works out. So. Thank you so much for watching. If you do, brethren, take heed. Take heed. Be warned. Watch out for this kind of stuff. We'll see you in the next video. <laughs> God loves you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, so I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>